ends. You know how it stretches out endlessly? Well, boom, it just runs out. And how it heals. You know, enough time passes, and the stuff you think you're never gonna get over at the time gets lessened. Gets into this soft focus. You forget. And this might be selfish. But I don't want you to forget me. Or what we mean to each other. No. If I ever could. Well, I made sure that you won't. Don't freak out. It's not an engagement ring. It's just something that I wanted you to have. You know, after. I swear to you, no matter what happens to me, no matter what in my life says I should go, I'll always, always wear this ring. Does that mean you like it? It sounds beautiful. The most meaningful thing anyone's ever given me. Robin, I love you so much, it blows me away. I know. Me too. Put it on for me. I can do that. I consider Mac a very good friend, so if I seem protective, that's probably why. I call it a tad overly protective. Max, a big boy. He knows what he wants and who he wants. to define it. Oh, Norma, I didn't know you were seeing Mac. This is fascinating, isn't it? And Catherine, I'm not quite sure what business would that be of yours. Doesn't Damien keep you occupied? Lucy, I realize you don't know this from experience. But it is possible for a woman to be concerned about a man for other reasons than just sex. And as I said, Mac and I are close. So naturally, I'd be curious about the new person in his life. Ooh. I guess you told me off. I have to admit, I admire the attitude. Who's so mature? Do you think? I do. And I'm very happy that Mac has finally found somebody who's so interested in his emotional well-being. We should all be so lucky, right, Edie? Eve, try to stay with us. But, Kathy, don't feel that you have to. You know, I think you're date over there is going to have been irritated. Of course. I didn't mean to intrude. It was nice meeting you, I'm sure. Lucy, I'm so glad you came here tonight. You are? Yeah, it's just been so much fun. Take this girl. Give you a booklet or something when you bought Auntie Jordan. I'd love to know where this ring has been. How about the window of a fancy department store in the city? This little boy and his mother, they were out window shopping. And she wanted it. But they didn't have any money. So when the boy got older, he went out and he found the ring and he bought it for her. And it became the most cherished possession. I don't know how it wound up in Larry's. <laughs> but now it's yours. <laughs> 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 